I'm joined by lawyer Geneviève Gray to talk about the Supreme Court of Canada sentence review of Alexandre Bissonnette, who murdered six people during evening prayers at a Quebec City mosque in 2017. Thank you for joining us, Maître Gray. Thank you for having me. Bissonnette was sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole for 40 years in February 2019. But then in November 2020, Quebec's appeal court ruled that Bissonnette was eligible to apply for parole after serving for 25 years. You know, it's very difficult to know exactly what the Supreme Can Court of Canada is going to do. Personally, I hope they will uphold the Court of Appeal decision for criminal law purposes because, you know, people get mixed up, they get very angry, and rightly so. What we said in dead is terrible. But you have to remember that the life sentence of 25 years before you can apply for parole is not he's only serving 25 years. That's not what it is. It's really just the application of parole. And that's sort of a very important concept in criminal law from the perspective of defense lawyers. You know, you want to give everyone hope that they will eventually be able to get out if they're rehabilitated. And that's sort of the concept. It's not that he will get out after 25 years. It's only that he can apply for parole after 25 years. So from the perspective of a defense lawyer, I do hope that the court, the Supreme Court of Canada is going to uphold the Court of Appeals decision, which I think was very reasoned and well thought out from a criminal law perspective. On a personal level, of course, I hope he doesn't get out after 25 years, I, I can assure you from a personal level, I, I hope he pays the full price for his crime. But uh, from a legal defense perspective, I do, I do think that it's an important legal principle to be able to apply for parole after 25 years. How will this decision affect the future of tough prison sentences that were put in place under the Harper government in 2011? Well, you know, the 2011 Harper government changes were incredibly draconian, according to defense lawyers. And um, so it, this would, you know, be a step back. If the Court of the Supreme Court of Canada upholds the Court of Appeals decision, this would be a step back from those draconian measures. As permitted under Harper's law, Alexandre Bissonnette could wait 50 years before having access to parole. So in your view, it is really too harsh you know, I'm not trying to excuse what he did because what he did was absolutely horrible. It really is. And there's no excuse. And obviously we want him to stay in jail for you know the rest of his life if he doesn't ever get rehabilitated. But from a criminal justice perspective, you know, the jails are not there to necessarily punish, but to protect society and to rehabilitate if possible. So, you know, we want our criminal justice system to work. We want to be able to say that our criminal justice system either rehabilitates or protects society. And I don't think that this, this, this sentence will change what Alexandre Pissonnet will have to go through in terms of his actual sentence. It'll just change um, the time where he can apply for parole. But you know, if he's not rehabilitated, if he shows no remorse, if there's been no change in how he approaches his life, then he's not getting out. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike Gray. Thank you so much for having me. In one minute.